In this video, I'll show you how to easily bulk rename all your views and sheets to, for example, address a change in the naming convention of your project. Hi everyone, I'm Berti here with BIM Lounge. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now, first I'll show you how to use the script and I'll put a link in the description so you can follow along. And if you'd like to stick around till the end, I'll also show how to create the script from scratch. Let's get to work. Now, first let me show you how I use this script. Now, the first thing you wanna do is head over to the Manage tab and we're going to use Dynamo Player. And I'll show you how to place this script that I provide so that it can be used from Dynamo Player. All you need to do when you see this script is essentially click on edit inputs so that you have access to all the parameters. And now at this point, we want to focus on views. So instead of sheets as categories, we can type V so we can get to views faster. And then instead of sheet names, we can uh, of course um, do view name, make sure it's spelled correctly. And then for example, let's try to rename the zone into area. This is a typical naming convention change within a project. So let's go ahead and uh, hit play. And as you can see, in all the views, the word zone has been replaced with the word area. Now you may see the message run completed with errors. And that may be due to the fact that some of the views did not contain the word zone, hence they haven't been renamed. Now to rename the sheets, we have a similar process and we'll actually use the same script. So let's head back into manage Dynamo player. And um, this is the script, we can uh, edit the inputs. We're uh, looking to the sheets category and uh, the sheet name as parameter. So all we need to do here is search for zone and replace it with area just to match what we just did on the views and then let's press play and then as you can see again all the zones change to areas now let's look at how to renumber sheets to do that the process is the same so we can um, head back into the dynamo script and sorry instead of sheet name we can use sheet number and then let's look at, for example, the one A, and uh, we want that to turn into one one. Now, if we press play, obviously we will see the change. So now we can see that the value has been changed, but the views don't stack up at this point. And uh, this is it. Uh, essentially, if you keep renaming the views per the same process, you'll have, for example, 1B will be 12, press play, and uh, 1C can be 13, and so on. Then at that point, all the views will uh, start to reorder and stack up properly. Now, if you're a Dynamo user and uh, would like to see how this script was made, continue watching. Otherwise, if you're only here to understand how the script works, then you're dismissed. Now let's go ahead and create the script. Manage, Dynamo. Don't forget to set your Dynamo to manual. Now the first thing you wanna do is uh, create the very last node. And that will be, we're setting a parameter, which is the sheet name or sheet number. So it's a set parameter by name. And we need get parameter by value name. At this point, we need the node to search and replace. So that'll be string replace. Now at this point, we need to establish all the inputs. So let's go ahead and look for categories. And I would go ahead and select sheets, but of course you can make views your default category. And then of course we need all elements of category so that we get all the sheets 
as an input. Now, let's go ahead and uh, feed this into the elements. And now we need a parameter name. Now, for parameter name, I would suggest using strings. So I'll go ahead and create multiple ones. And we're going to need one for, say, the sheet name. And we're going to need a couple for search and replace our string. So what we need here could be, we can just set it as a sample value. This is not important because it will change depending on your project. So we can search for A, replace it with B, and then the user will actually rename these. Now let's concentrate on what needs to to be replaced. So it'll be all these inputs. And at this point, of course, we have all the elements that need to be fed into the final node. And um, now we have a parameter name. And the parameter name is actually the original parameter name. And then the value, of course, is the value that's been replaced. Now, just to clean this up, I would um, probably align all the inputs, which is categories, the parameter name, and uh, the two search and replace strings. Now, I would probably call this simply category, just so it doesn't get confusing. And uh, this one, we could probably call it simply parameter. You can get a bit more descriptive, but I'm gonna keep it simple here. Now, string, this could be simply search for, and uh, maybe something like replace with. And at this point, I would set the inputs, and this is important if you want to use this within Dynamo Player. Right click is input. Now all these are going to be our inputs. And then of course we can uh, save out our script. Now what is your preferred method to bulk rename views and sheets? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.